Hello everyone and welcome back to your YouTube channel and welcome to this very important video today. Um, as you must be aware, um, I am creating a new playlist regarding a new module that I will be teaching this semester. And, and this module is called Advanced Electrical Power System Analysis. It's basically the next step in electrical power system analysis is going deep, is going into the power system dynamics. And this very specific module, uh, this very specific video is dedicated to explain you what we will be covering during the semester in this very special, in this very special module. Well, but before we start, you must remember that every single one of my modules, um, I, um, I um, upload all the technical documentation and technical material into my research gate repository. For that reason, if you want to download these slides and many others in this course or this module, you can go to my ResearchGate repository and you can download from there. Also, in this module, um, we have a very important component related to practical and numerical examples. And for that reason, I highly suggest that you go to my GitHub repository and over there you will, fi you will find the files that I use for the practical examples. You will find some MATLAB scripts but also some um, sim MATLAB simulink simulations and also Power Factory projects that we will be using this semester. Regarding this video, um, if you are watching this video, it's basically because you are in my YouTube channel. I highly suggest that if you want to keep um, an update about the developments in this YouTube channel, you can subscribe and also it will be very special if you can provide some comments, okay? Finally, if you are interested in the situation in electrical power system, what we are doing in research, I highly suggest that you subscribe to my social media, specifically here to Twitter and LinkedIn, okay? And you will be updated about what we are doing regarding research and development in electrical power system. But now let's go back to this advanced electrical power system analysis. And mm, let me show you and let me present you the objective. The general objective of this module is to provide a comprehensive knowledge about electromechanical processes in electrical power system with a special emphasis or focus on stability and control. This course or this module covers the main aspects regarding modeling and simulation of control with highlighting the use of simulation tools. And in particular, we are interested on power system stability and power system protection and control as solution to enhance the power system stability. Regarding learning outcomes, there are few learning outcomes, but here what we want to explain from the knowledge point of view is that you get an understanding of dynamic processes in electrical power system. And you must understand that one of those very specific phenomena is the power system stability. You must understand the concepts related to modeling and simulation of the dynamic phenomena of electrical power system. And from there, you must understand two very specific cases of stability. The rotor angle stability related with the synchronous machine basically the torques inside the synchronous machine and frequency stability related with the active power balance at the synchronous machine. Finally, um, you will understand the basic and theory and practical aspect related with improving the power system stability. To do so, we need to use controls and some of them, the emergency control is related with protections. From a skill point of view, this module is, is 
it will provide you the knowledge in order that you can apply this knowledge to perform power system dynamics and be able to identify the instability condition. In particular, the rotor angle instability and the frequency instability. Also, you will be able to perform power system analysis using software, at least for the classical uh, multi-machine system using the commercial power system analysis like the Excellent Power Factory. And finally, you will be able to apply some of the practical concepts related with protection system in order to improve the power system security. From the general competence, I will be extremely happy if, if all my students, they get the knowledge about the general principle for analyzing electromechanical processes in, in focus on rotor angle stability and frequency control and frequency stability, okay? Also, I will be extremely happy if all my students, they have a very good understanding of power system stability, they enhance the vocabulary, they learn how to communicate with proper, pro, pro, a proper, power system professional, okay? Remember, it's very important that you understand the concepts, that you use the proper words in order that you can communicate with people and they understand what you are trying to say. That is very important in this module that you understand the concepts and you use the proper vocabulary, okay? Regarding the content, um, basically we divide this, this module in several parts. The first part will be related with modeling the power system. Uh, we will start with dynamic processes, the classification using the time scales. Then we will go for the mathematical representation using differential algebraic equations. <coughs> Sorry. From there, we will go how to solve those, those uh, mathematical equations and the solution of large power system using matrix methods. Then we will go for power system stability, understanding the concept of power system stability, classification, electromechanical processes, and so on. Then we will move to two very specific cases of power system stability. The first one, probably the oldest one, that is the rotor angle transient stability. From there, we will go to frequency control, uh, frequency stability and frequency control. And finally, this module closed with some aspect related with real-time simulation. We are innovating in this course. In this course, we are using real-time simulation to show you the performance and how the protection systems behave in real electrical power systems. This is something that is unique. This is innovation. No many places around the world, the students are taking on hands real-time simulations putting the hands in real, um, real relays and facing the real challenges of real protection. Regarding learning activities, well, I must be honest, the core of this course will be lectures. Uh, some of those lectures will be pre-record videos, but also we will have the, uh, theoretical and practical exercise. The practical exercise will be numerical in some case, and in other case, we will use um, simulator-based examples coming from pre-record videos. However, I must be honest, in this module there is plenty time for self-study. And again, if you want to understand stability, if you want to communicate with serious people in the power wall, you need to have proper vocabulary, deep understanding of the physical phenomenon. Without the understanding of the physical phenomenon in this module, you will fail. For that reason, self-study is extremely, extremely important. Regarding the assessment, well, um, this, this year, this module is plain, plain, uh, very simple, the assessment. The assessment is just a single writing exam, 100%. And as typical, we are using the alphabetical grading, A to F, A for the highest, F for the lowest, and you require a minimum letter E to, uh, to pass this module, okay? Finally, is a section for the recommended readings. I'm afraid that I will recommend many books. For rotor angle stability, one of my favorite books, probably one, the classical, that is the Paul Anderson and Fouad, Power System Control and Stability from IEEE Press, okay? This is an amazing book related with 
um, modeling of uh, synchronous machine for uh, power system analysis, but also is a very famous book for um, for analyzing power system stability. Then here on the right hand side, you can see power system stability of control, one of my favorite books coming from Prabhakundur, 1994 from McGraw Hill. This is a book that anyone, uh, any good uh, electrical power engineer must have in at home at least, okay? Um, for uh, small signal stability, my personal recommendation is the book from Ra Graham Rogers. It's a book from 2000, it is, and the title is Power System Oscillation. Uh, this book is amazing. It's probably one of the best books for explaining in detail all the possible views about um, small signal stability. Voltage stability is not fully covered in this in this course. However, I recommend this book from my friend Terry Van Kutzen, that is voltage stability and uh, of electrical power system. Two of more of my favorite books. Um, the book of Pixauer and Professor Eman Pai from University of the Urbana Champaign in the US, uh, Power System Dynamic and Stability. This book from Prentice Hall is probably the first book that I can say uh, presented the time scale classification in a book, and it's coming from Pixauer, okay? For frequency control and frequency stability, there are not so many books. In recent time, many people write, uh, wrote several books. However, my personal opinion is that there is no a perfect book about frequency control and frequency stability. But this this book from Hassan Babrani, um, Iranian, um, is a uh, book that I highly suggest. Couple of my books will be mm, used for complementing some concepts uh, regarding uh, security. We can use the dynamic vulnerability assessment and intelligent control. This book is with my friend Jose Luis Rueda from TU Delft. And also this other book, Probabilistic Reliability Analysis of Power System, a student introduction. Again, this is a book with all my colleagues and very good friends from TU Delft in Netherlands. Finally, one of my favorite books to explain many of the things related with power factory in modern power system. Uh, again, this book is with my very good friend Jose Luis Reda from TU Delft, Netherlands. And the title of this book is Advanced Smart Grid Functionalities Based on Power System, uh, on Power Factory, sorry. Well, again, to close this video, I would like to recommend, if you want to go for the practical examples, go to my GitHub repository. If you want to get the slides of this course, you can go to ResearchGate. And this is the end of this very specific video. And in this video, I present a very basic overview about what we are expecting to cover in this very important course about advanced electrical power system analysis. I hope that you will enjoy this course. I hope that you will learn a lot. And especially, I hope that you can use this knowledge in your day-to-day -day, um, work in any utility around the world. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I will see you at the next class. Bye now.